to Education Over Everything. I'm Dr. Yusuf Sabri, and we have reached part eight of our community college series, Tips for Balancing Work, Family, and School as a Community College Student. So we all have an idea of how to balance how, uh, school, work, and life, but I wanted to identify 12 items uh, to, to kind of help you organize or just put some ideas out there to help you with balancing work, life, and, and school as a community college student. So I'm gonna go through the list and uh, give a few examples, and hopefully this will help you along your journey. Number one, prioritize and set clear goals. So determine, start by determining your priorities and, and set achievable goals. Don't do anything that's crazy, set crazy goals. Just set something you know you can achieve. So you prioritize and you set clear goals. That's number one. Number two, create a schedule. What does your weekly schedule look like? What does your monthly schedule look like? A semester averages about 16 weeks, 17 weeks, so organize uh, your schedule for the first 16 weeks, first four months, and then break it down by weeks. Then you'll have a, a, a better, a clear understanding of your schedule and what it looks like so you can, so you can balance school, work, and family in the correct way. Number three, it's extremely important I had to do this during my, my doctoral program, communicate and involve your family. So everything that you have going on, school, life, work, uh, everything that you have going on, make sure that you communicate that to your family so your family can help you. Your family can help you organize, they can support you and, uh, and assist in any way possible, but if they don't know what you have going on, then it's gonna make it a lot harder for you because your family could be pulling you one direction when you're trying to go in the next. Instead of them helping you, they could be, you know, pulling you away. So make sure you communicate with your family. Number four, take, take advantage of flexible options. Look at flexible work arrangements. What can help you? How can your schedule be a little bit more flexible for you to get things done? Five, seek support from your employer uh, if possible. If your employer is willing to listen, and they support you. Sometimes your employer pays for your tuition. They want you to get those uh, stackable credentials. They want you to get that continuing education. So communicate to your employer, if possible, what you have going on as far as school, work, and life so they can better assist you. They might be able to you know, give you a couple hours here, give you a couple hours there, fix your schedule, arrange your schedule so you can go to school, especially if it's going to benefit them. Optimize your study time. Make the most out of your study time. If you only can, can pencil out an hour a day, then make sure you get that full use of that hour. If you get two hours a day, which is great, make sure you get the full use of your two hours. Don't waste time getting organized within that hour, then you're wasting that, your study time. You're only, you're only getting 30 minutes from that hour. So coming to that hour, or two hours knowing you have to study prepared. And that's the way you can optimize your study time. Manage your time efficiently. So we only get 24 hours. You're supposed to sleep eight. Then you gotta work. So that's 16 hours between work and sleep that are gone. Then you got some schooling. If you got kids, you gotta take care of them, drive them back and forth, practice you know, homework, food, getting prepared for the next day. So you only have a very small, very short window to, to do what's best for you, to further your education, to go to school, if you have these things in your life. So make sure you're very efficient with your time. You manage your time well, and you're very efficient, so you get the most out of your time and most out of your day. Number eight, which is important. Practice self-care. Take we got to take care of ourselves. If that's doing some reading, stretching, 
eating right, getting enough sleep, exercising, whatever it takes. Because this, a journey is going to be grueling. It's going to be rigorous. It's going to be a little rough. So you want to make sure that you're in the best health possible. I have issues with it because I, I spend too much time being busy and I forget about myself. I need to do better. And that's one of the important things from experience that I want to share that that helps. A personal self-care is important. Number nine, delegate and ask for help. So responsibilities that you don't need to do, if you can get somebody else to do them, have them do them. Don't micromanage. Delegate that responsibility. Delegate those responsibilities. And then when you need help, ask for it. Don't be too prideful because you're going to need help during your journey. So be respectful. Don't burn bridges and, and help others. As, and, and when you need help, ask for help. Number 10, stay organized and stay ahead of the game. You have to stay organized in order to complete a journey. Some type of organization, calendar or planner, digital planner, something of that nature to keep you on point. If you're on your phone all the time, you use your phone, you know, set those reminders, set those alerts, and, and, and try not to procrastinate. If you got assignments and projects due ahead of time, just work on them a little bit at a time so you can get those things done because you don't want to wait to the last minute. And that can end up bad for you. Number 11. And we know in a journey, everything is not going to be what we want it to be. So for number 11, we have to be flexible and able to adapt. You have to be flexible with your schedule. You have to be flexible with your, your workload. You have to be flexible because there are going to be some adjustments that need to be made. And if you're so stuck on this track and you have to make an adjustment, you have to make an adjustment that sometimes it can throw you off. So go into your journey understanding that adjustments will be made, changes will be made, and you have to be flexible in order to be successful. So understand it's gonna need you're gonna have to you're gonna need some flexibility and you're gonna to have to adapt to different situations. Understand that. And last but not least, take care of your mental health. If you feel like you're stressing out, if you feel like you're burning out, just take a pause, take a step back. Don't burn out. This is not a race, it's a marathon. And everybody's journey is different. So just because that person is doing something better than you, that person might be a little further ahead of you. Don't stress yourself out trying to compete. As long as you're in the game, that's all that matters. As long as you're in the game playing, it don't matter how many points they score. It don't matter how many points they score, how many shots he takes, how many shots she takes. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're contributing to your journey, that's all that matters. But do not stress yourself out and burn yourself out because life, life is... It's something else. And you're going to have stressors. You're going to have things, hiccups and obstacles that you couldn't see. Nobody could see. And it's going to happen. Life is going to kick you in the butt a couple times. So make sure that you, you take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of your mental health. It's important. So I hope these tips for balancing work, family, and school as a community college student will help. I'm going to go over them one more time. So just in case you need a refresher, number one, prioritize and set goals. Number two, create a schedule. Number three, communicate and involve your family. Number four, take advantage of flexible options. Number five, seek support from your employer if you can. Number six, optimize your study time. Number seven, manage your time efficiently. Number eight, practice self-care. Number nine, delegate and ask for help. Number 10, stay organized and stay ahead. Number 11, be flexible and adapt. And number 12, take care of your mental health. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.